What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jensen Kill back with another banger. I'm gonna show you how to overclock your PS4 or PS5 controller today. So the question is, why would you wanna overclock your PS4 or PS5 controller? Because there is something called input delay and you can actually lower the latency of that delay uh, by simply overclocking your controller. Uh, this is completely free. You don't have to pay for anything um, and it's pretty quick too. Now, I will say that there are errors that pop up in the middle of this and I'll talk about it when we're doing this. Um, if you run into this error, go to the link in the description. Uh, it's gonna say something about bypassing the error when overclocking your controller. Um, that's where you're gonna wanna follow those steps in order to bypass that error so that you can overclock your controller to make sure that you're getting the best input latency and the best speed possible when gaming, okay? So now, uh, I do wanna let y'all know that we do have a Discord. It's the Rojan Empire Discord, which I have a link in the description below as well. Um, it's a community for Call of Duty players, uh, MW3, Ranked, uh, zombies, core, hardcore, uh, even Warzone, okay? There's a LFG in there looking for groups so you can find people to play with. Uh, let's say you wanna queue up with certain ranks in ranked. Uh, you can do that in there in the Discord server. So just make sure you join up and uh, select your role. Anyway, moving forward, we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how you, how you can do this. So what you do first is you're gonna go to the website in the description, okay? It's gonna be the Lord of Mice GitHub, okay? So now, when you get to this website, you're gonna wanna go to the hidusbf.zip. It's the third one down, not the hidusbfn.zip, okay? You want the f.zip. Click on that. Once you click on that, on the right here, you're gonna see this little download button that says download raw file. When you click on that, you're gonna download that file. It's gonna be a zip file, okay? Once you extract that zip file, you're gonna get a folder inside of there. Uh, it's hid USBF folder. Open that, double click on driver, okay? Then you're gonna to wanna to go to setup.exe and click on yes. Now, once you get to this screen, okay? You're gonna click on mice and go to all, okay? now. Whether or not you have a PS5 controller like me or if you got a PS4 controller, it does not matter. Now, the only thing that will matter is what rate you can set your controller at. And I'll get to that here in just a second. But you want to find your device. Make sure it's plugged in, okay? And then you're going to see audio endpoint headset microphone. It's going to show up as a microphone. Why? Doesn't matter. Just know that that's it. Because you're going to see DualSense Edge wireless controller or dual sense wireless controller or you're going to see dual shock wireless controller uh which is for the ps4 controller okay um so now i'm going to reset all of my settings real quick i just want to go ahead and show y'all that this is you know it's all the same so now i'm going to go ahead and i reset it now i hit restart i just want to make sure everything is default so it is default so yours should read the exact same it should say no on filter it should say default on rate and it should say four to six on b interval that's how you know that it is at default and is not overclocked okay so now let me close this just so y'all can see that it is on default now as you can see yep no default four to six okay so now this doesn't really matter where you click on this um but First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go from default to 8,000 if you have a PS5 controller. Doesn't matter if you have a Battle Beavers, a Scuff, custom modded control, doesn't matter, okay? If it's a PS5 DualSense base controller, you can go to 8,000. If you have a PS4 base controller, whether it's a custom modded one, doesn't matter. You go to 1,000, okay? The PS4 goes to 1,000, the PS5 controller goes to 8,000, okay? hit 8,000, then hit install service. Now, when you do this or on the next step, okay, there may be an error. It's not gonna show you this open or cancel. It's gonna be a long message and it's gonna say yes or no. If you come to that, that means that you have gotten the error that I'm talking about, okay? You're gonna wanna go to the video in the description below. I'm not sure where I'm gonna title it yet, but it's probably gonna say something along the lines of bypass the error when trying to overclock your controller, uh, something like that. You'll see it in the description. Go to that video, follow those steps, and then once you get done with that, come back to this video so that you can go ahead and go through these steps with me so that you can overclock your controller, okay? Um, so now, you're gonna hit open, right? Once you hit install service, uh, and then you're gonna hit filter on device, hit install service, hit open. Now, your controller's overclocked. 
Watch this. When I hit restart, you're going to see it says yes, 8,001. If you have a PS4 controller, it's going to say yes, 1,001. Okay. And just to make sure that it is working, I'm going to disconnect my controller. Okay. I'm going to reconnect my controller. And I'm going to go to setup, open it again. And you can actually open this up and check from time to time just to make sure that your overclock did stick and that it is active, okay? Um, so as you can see here, it does say yes, 8,000 and a 1B interval. So that means that it is overclocked to 8,000 rate and uh, or 1,000 rate, whatever it is that you have, PS4, PS5. Um, but yeah, that means that it's all good to go. And that means that you are ready to game with the lowest possible input latency uh, on your controller. Um, Free, quick, and easy. You can't beat that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys got any good information out of this, please like the video. Uh, it definitely helps the channel. Uh, subscribe. That helps the channel as well. I got plenty of content for Call of Duty if y'all like that. Um, but yeah, this is how you do it. And uh, glad y'all watched the video. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out all the other videos for anything else that you might need.